We're good to go? OK, thanks. Hey, everyone. Thanks for joining our session today. We're going to talk about uh, how Nginx and OpenStack work together. I'm Faisal Memon. I am product marketing at Nginx. And along with me is Mikhail Pleshnikov, um, who's going to be doing a demo later of uh, our integration with OpenStack. Um, how many people here uh, actively use Nginx? Very cool. And how many uh, either give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down? All right. I see all thumbs up, two thumbs up over there. Thank you very much. Uh, so first and foremost, Nginx is open source software. Um, we have been open source software since 2002 uh, with the first release. Um, since then, we have grown to over 400, 140 million sites um, are now being powered by our software, by Nginx. Uh, but more importantly, or more telling to me, is that of the top 10,000 sites as ranked by volume of traffic, um, we have 50% um, of those sites running on Nginx. Oh, I have the clicker. Um, and just a nice logo wall here that shows that um, if you, you know, use the internet today, you likely interacted with Nginx at some point. Um, the world's top technology leaders and largest enterprises all rely um, on Nginx to deliver their applications. Um, this is Igor. He's the guy who created uh, Nginx and founded Nginx Inc., uh, the commercially supported uh, company on top of Nginx. Um, and the problem that he was trying to solve when he started Nginx was very simple how to get more usage out of a single server, out of an existing server. How can I use this server uh, to handle more users? Um, and he targeted a specific problem, which was with the Apache web server. Um, and in this graph, the larger number is worse. Um, that's the amount of memory being used as an amount of concurrency goes up, or as the amount of uh, concurrent users increases. Um, we can see here that Apache uh, starts consuming more and more memory as the number of users rises. Um, Nginx, we keep it pretty flat. Um, and so he created Nginx as a high performance web server, something that you could use um, instead of Apache to deliver static web contents um, with high performance and low resource usage. Um, we've since gone on and created Nginx Plus. Uh, that is our commercially supported offering on top of the open source Nginx. Uh, so now you can use a great open source Nginx product that you like, move it to the edge of your application, uh, use it as your load balancer, use it as your content cache, uh, use it to do security and authentication to your application. Um, do not move forward. Uh, you can run uh, Nginx Plus just like Nginx anywhere. Uh, we are, or we have 10 million downloads of Nginx on Docker Hub. Um, if you're into containers, we run on virtual machines in both private clouds as well as public clouds. Um, we have an OpenStack heat template that Michael is going to be showing later um, that shows our integration with OpenStack. You can even run our software on a Linux server, bare metal. And the clicker is not working today. Uh, you can use us to replace hardware load balancers. If you have lar hardware load balancers uh, within your data center, within your enterprise today, you can replace those hardware load balancers with a software solution based on Nginx Plus, reduce your cost by 85%. Uh, this is a quote from one of our customers from Discovery Education. They uh, had an expensive upgrade. They were maxing out the bandwidth caps on their lo load balancer. They looked to Nginx Plus and compared the numbers. And they found that with Nginx Plus, they can get all the features that they wanted, all the functionality, um, but at a quarter of the cost of what they were being uh, quoted from uh, their previous hardware load balancer. That's OK? OK, thanks. Sorry, we're having some problems with the clicker. Um, but we're back online. Um, we're continuing to innovate at Nginx. Um, and just in the past year, we have introduced UDP load balancing. 
We feel that UDP load balancing is an emerging, emerging protocol for the Internet of Things. Um, it also covers existing use cases such as DNS, radius servers, infrastructure that uh, most enterprises already have existing within their data centers. Um, exclusive to Nginx Plus is active health checks um, and a few other advanced features. <clears throat> we have introduced support for HTTP2 to improve the performance of existing websites. Uh, with Nginx, you can put, uh, sorry, you can uh, start using HTTP2 uh, with making no changes to your backend infrastructure. We translate HTTP2 traffic on the front end back to HTTP1 traffic that your application servers already speak. Okay, uh, service discovery. Uh, within Nginx Plus R9, our latest release, uh, we added some nice functionality to better integrate with service registries. If you're using continuous integration and continuous delivery uh, to push changes out to production environments, uh, those changes can get pushed sometimes with little to no warning. Um, <clears throat> if you're using an environment like that, the IP address and the port numbers of your services um, are dynamically and constantly changing. Um, and you'll need a service registry uh, to store the current IP address and port for each server. Nginx Plus can now integrate uh, with those uh, service registries to automatically uh, get the current location of services that we're load balancing to. Uh, we introduced a preview of JavaScript support within Nginx. Uh, and we're going to build out this functionality, enabling you to use JavaScript to do pieces of your Nginx configuration. Uh, you can use this to do custom routing, uh, security, and authentication within your application. Uh, we introduce a preview of OAuth 2 support. Uh, with this functionality, you can now offload OAuth 2 processing to Nginx. Nginx will do the OAuth 2 authentication for you uh, and then feed back the user information to you in the form of HTTP headers that your application server already speaks. Uh, and we have some exciting new features planned uh, for the coming year. And most importantly among those is a web application firewall. We've been talking about this for a while, but this is the year that we will see the web application firewall come to both Nginx and Nginx Plus. Uh, it will be, um, we will charge a small amount on top of the, uh, of the price for Nginx Plus to get access to the commercial rule set. Um, and final word before I pass it over to Michael, I just wanted to bring it back to Igor um, and his motivations for creating Nginx. Uh, he wanted people to use Nginx, and that's why he made it open source. Okay, thank you. And Michael, off to you. Well, uh, thanks, Fezo. And the goal of the demo I'm going to show you is to show how it's easy to configure, deploy, and manage Nginx pass in your OpenStack environment and also to see uh, various Nginx features in action. And before uh, launching the demo, uh, I'm going to explain what it, do, what it does and how it works. Yep. So what we're going to do, we're going to do H an HTTP load balancing of simple web application. And this application is deployed inside in in a virtual machine. And we're going to call such machine uh, backend or backend instance or backend. And we're going to have multiple backends because we're going to scale our application up and down. We also have Nginx Plus deployed uh, also in a virtual machine. And it has, uh, it's connected to backends via a private network. And Nginx Plus uh, virtual machine also has a public floating uh, IP address. So we connect, can connect to it from outside of our, of our OpenStack uh, cloud. Uh, the number of backends we can uh, change by scaling our application up and down. Okay, so how do we how do we uh, deploy such setup? So we're gonna use Heat for that, and we created the Heat template, which I'm gonna sh uh, briefly show to you. This is the template file, and the important uh, things to note here is we define a backend count parameter, and uh, uh, through this parameter, we will uh, tell Hit how many backend instances we want to be created. And in this Hit file, we define multiple resources. The first one is the backend instances resources of a type uh, Hit resource group. 
and we say, and we pass our backend count parameter to a count property of this resource. Uh, the next resource is Nginx Plus uh, instance. And the important thing to note is we tell Heat to, uh, to add the list of IP addresses of backends, back, uh, backend instances uh, as, instance, as this instance metadata. And we're going to use this uh, metadata to reconfigure Nginx. Uh, the last two resource, resor resources are floating IP and floating IP association for Nginx Plus instance. Let's go back to slides. Oh. OK, how Nginx gets reconfigured? This is the question. So first, first step is hit after it, it, it's it done creating the backend instances, it's going to insert IP addresses of these instances into Nginx plus instance metadata. The second step is on the Nginx instance, there we, uh, there's an agent that's, that is running. And it's constantly monitoring uh, uh, the Nginx plus instance for any updates in its metadata. And, one, it one, and once it sees the updates, it immediately adds or removes backends from Nginx plus where it's on the fly reconfiguration API. And this agent is a simple uh, Python application that we wrote. OK, so uh, with that, I'm going to show you the demo. And uh, we recorded the demo, so let's start from the, f uh, the first video. The, the first step is to deploy uh, our setup in our OpenStack cloud. So we do, uh, oh, let me make full screen. We do this uh, with creating the stack from this uh, template file, and we specify the uh, template file name, uh, the name for our stack. And the important thing is we specify backend count equals three. So we're going to create three backends. OK, to the next video. So, uh, So uh, once the uh, once once hit done creating the backends, uh, let's see what uh, Horizon dashboard, and we see that the all the instances I did uh, created. So what we're gonna do now? We're gonna connect to the our applications via public floating IP of the Nginx uh, load balancer, and what we see is that the page that we get every time we refresh this page, it, it comes from the different backend because we do load balancing. And now what we what we're gonna do? We're gonna uh, go to the Nginx Plus uh, Live Activity Monitoring Dashboard. And it provides you the uh, real-time statistic about what's happening in Nginx and the applications that you load balance with it. And we're interested in the upstream tab, and it shows us all the configured backend in the Nginx. And we have our, our backend here with three instances. Uh, so uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to scale the application up. So we're going to add more backends. Let's, let's do this. So we're going to issue stack update uh, comment. And we specify the number of backends, six in this case. And what we're going to, and uh, we're going to look at the Nginx Plus dashboard in, uh, in a moment. And we, what we expect to see is the new backends should be added. And one thing to note is we also set it up health checks in Nginx. So every one second, Nginx sends an HTTP request to backends to check their health. And if, if they don't respond, Nginx marks them as unhealthy. So in our case, in this demo, we, uh, the backends are added before actual application, our, backend applica uh, our web application services are started on those instances. So immediately, uh, Nginx mark, uh, will mark those uh, uh, backends as down. So, so let, let, let's just see, it, see that. So you see, uh, backends are added, but imme uh, Nginx immediately marks them as fa failed. And once, this, uh, once our applica uh, web application starts running on those uh, instances, and uh, health checks uh, will stop failing, and Nginx uh, will mark the server's backend, backends 
as healthy again and start uh, sending distributing traffic to them. So what we can also do, okay, let's just see how they one by one by one uh, they will get healthy. Oh. Yep, uh, two to go. Perfect. Okay, so we can also scale down uh, our application with the same stack, uh, hit stack update command. Okay, let's let just, let just do that. And uh, so we issue a stack update comment. And again, if you look at the Nginx plus dashboard, uh, we will see that what, what we're going gonna to see is that the health checks for these uh, instances that's going to be removed by hit are going to fail because hit terminates those instances before we can know that it terminated them. And that's another uh, way to see this health checks in action. So, uh, and after some time, uh, those backends are finally removed from Nginx. Well, I hope you uh, like the demo, and uh, I'm going to pass the mic to Faisal. Uh, just uh, one. Uh, uh, Let me just uh, 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 put some final thoughts on the demo. So what, what, what I showed to you is it's how it's easy to deploy and manage Nginx Plus, and especially with dynamic reconfigura reconfiguration option that we have. And I also show you a health checks in action and the live activity monitoring dashboard. OK, back to you, Faisal. OK, cool. Thanks, Michael. Um, and we have about two minutes or three minutes left uh, for any questions you guys might have. Um, and if you think of anything later or if we run out of time, we are at booth B20. It's just right back there, right behind the Intel booth. We have a question there. We are hoping to have that before the end of this year. Question back there. I'm sorry, I cannot, I can't hear that last part. Um, that's a good question. Is heat orchestration possible without Nginx Plus? Oh, yeah, definitely. So, yeah, heat is, uh, orchestration is a part of the OpenStack uh, services. So we just use, uh, uh, it, it's easy to, uh, it's easy to provision uh, your applications with heat. It's a very useful tool, and you, you see how it's easy to deploy our application and a load balancer with it. Yeah, so you get some ad advanced functionality with Nginx Plus that makes the integration easier. Oh. OK, thank you guys uh, for your time. Like I said, uh, my, my name is Faisal. This is Michael. Uh, we'll be at the Nginx booth, B20, back there. Uh, please come by and see us. Thank you. Thank you.